often the problems that, that get brought to us are things that haven't been tackled before. So there's no ready-made you know, solution that you just pull out of your toolkit of solutions. What did you want to do as a career when you were my age? Oh my goodness. You take a winding path and it, and it gives you opportunities to learn and grow and meet new people. I've always liked the idea of being a consultant because to me it's kind of like being the architect of the business world, if you will. We're trusted with very complex, often highly sensitive challenges where there are real world implications and real world outcomes that, that need to be delivered. It sounds easy, but it's not. <laughs> My name is Srinath Thirubu. I am currently studying a Bachelor of Finance and a Bachelor of Psychology uh, here at the ANU. And uh, in the future, I want to go into corporate consultancy. My name is Tiana O'Donnell. I'm a partner at Deloitte and I lead the climate and sustainability practice here in Canberra. And I'm also an associate professor affiliate with the Fenner School here at the ANU. So today I'll be interviewing my future self. Uh, as uh, someone who's done a science degree and then gone into consultancy. At a dinner party, how do you explain what you do? <laughs> um, great question. So as, as a partner in a management consulting firm, um, I describe what we do as really two-pronged. One is, and, and the priority would be, that we solve really complex problems for our clients. They come to us when they need that help and they need, they usually need those solutions quite quickly. So we need to be able to scale uh, and have the energy to, to, to do that. So we solve problems, complex problems, and we build multidisciplinary teams around those complex problems. What did you want to do as a career when you were my age? Oh my goodness. Um, so I always had aspirations to be a lawyer uh, and indeed I started my career uh, in private practice as a solicitor in environment and planning law. Um, but by the time I had got to, to your age, and I'm just guessing what your age is here, I had already started to have an inkling that I wanted to do more than just understand the black letter of the law and apply it to, to solutions for, for people who needed that advice. And so I went back and did a PhD in climate change adaptation and um, that enabled me to really build out uh, an offering that had lots of technical capability, um, but also breadth in terms of the kinds of issues and challenges and, and opportunities I could see on the horizon for our society. And so that's what I did. Um, but I didn't know at that time that I was going to end up being a partner at, at Deloitte. What do you look back on as a key turning point in your career? Hmm. I think there's been a few. I think the biggest turning point or one of the biggest turning points was the 2019-2020 Black Summer fires and the recognition during and after that that the need to scale, rapidly scale, in response to the climate crisis and the climate emergency and to bring the best of all sectors and, and the best minds and the best perspectives um, to that issue being uh, how we how we mitigate and adapt to climate change, gave me pause and gave me time to think about where the best place for me to be. And, and so uh, it was a long, a long thought process, but I made the, the decision to go back into private practice and join Deloitte as a partner um, to be able to do that. And it was the right decision. How do you think the scientific thinking that comes from being in climate uh, science and uh, all those degrees, especially a PhD, how do you think that thinking has informed uh, how you approach not only problems, but how you craft your own solutions? Hmm. Um, it's a great question. There are pros and cons um, with, with the PhD training. One of the cons would be in, in a PhD and in my academic work, there was always a lot more time to work through the theory and the theoretical underpinnings of what I was talking about. Um, there isn't always that, that time in consulting. That said, without question, my PhD in terms of the topic, but also the training have really set me up well for the role I have now. And probably, probably the main thing I would call out in that, 
well, there's several, I'll call that two. Um, the first one would be how to manage complex projects. And I think the other one is being able to really step back and unpack a problem from multiple perspectives and understand it from those multiple perspectives. That's a really important skill that I think the sciences and the social sciences in particular really um, harness and, and, and curate in, in students as you're going through university and something to be, to be proud of and something to really emphasise uh, when you're out in the world looking for different career pathways. So to round out our conversation today, I wondered if you could share um, your thoughts and, and imaginings on where you see management consulting going over the next 10, 20, 30 years and, and by the time you're the future self being interviewed, um, what that might look like as a career option? Well, for me, uh, management consulting has always been something I want to go into um, as I do really see consultants as like the architect of the business world. So in that, the way, same way an architect walks through a city and you know, points out buildings they've worked on and they can say, they can talk about the details. It, to me, it's attractive to go into a business like that, be able to contribute to businesses and solve complex problems, as you've talked about, and solve them in unique and adaptive ways. Yeah, great. <laughs> Thank you. It's been a great chat. It's a pleasure.